Great. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks again, Tim. I'm Katie Delaney. It's so good to be with all of you today. I'm CBN's Manager of Strategic Learning and Evaluation. And as Sarah mentioned, um, one of our reimaginings in the past year has been expanding from traditional one-off webinars um, to more in-depth program trainings. We had support from grant funding from our partnership with the Hilton Foundation that enabled us to offer these three new courses at a discount to member programs. One was the Strategic Marketing Crash Course facilitated by Novus, a nonprofit branding and marketing agency. The second, uh, Fostering Wellness in Community, Mental Health in the Service Experience, um, which is a course facilitated by Maggie Moore and Christina Jeffords, both mental health therapists who were former volunteers and are now getting ready to lead our first volunteer course on mental health. And finally, an implicit bias training facilitated by Crossroads Anti-Racism Organizing and Training. And these three courses um, really opened up our eyes to what's possible and the beauty of, of partnerships and collaborations even beyond our network. Um, so a few highlights, expanding from a one-off webinar, those can be great for, for particular topics, but we found that a multi-session course allowed participants to really go in depth and um, metabolize learning throughout the experience. We also ran a proposal review process to find and contract the best fit facilitators for these courses who had experience and knowledge from fields that I think all of you have dipped your toe in, you know, our program staff, you wear 500 hats and that's really hard and no one can have 500 majors or 500 career um, titles. So to be able to call upon folks who, who live these different topics every day um, and leverage that learning for us was a real benefit. The courses also included homework and takeaways. So um, really focused on applying directly to your daily operations and program management and support for volunteers. And, you know, similar to what Tim shared about the calls, um, each course was comprised of a cohort of member programs. So we wanted to, to capitalize on, on the community that we have and um, share the learning experience with each other so that you were able to continually problem solve throughout bounce ideas off each other. And then, you know, over the course of these courses, really develop a shared language and a common um, way that we could come at, come at problems or challenges together with this shared understanding. And in this, these courses, we had 112 staff members participate um, with two more starting in February. So that number is only going to grow. And we can say a lot about the courses, but uh, we really wanted to offer some firsthand experience from folks who participated. So I'm happy to introduce Katie Sullivan and Emma Edwards of Franciscan Volunteer Ministry, who between the two of them actually participated in all three courses. So Katie and Emma, thank you for, for joining us today and for being willing to share a bit of your feedback. Yeah, thanks Katie um, for the intro and inviting us to share. Um, I'm Emma Edwards, um, the Associate Director of Franciscan Volunteer Ministry. Um, I uh, was new to FEM in 2019, November of 2019 is when I started. Um, so to say that <laughs> I had a really first interesting uh, year would be probably an understatement. Um, but something that I felt like these, uh, even before I started working with FEM, I worked in campus ministry at small uh, Catholic colleges. And um, kind of like Katie mentioned, you're just kind of expected to be an expert in everything. Um, at least that's how I felt. And there just wasn't always like the budget um, to for professional development. And so you just like made do. And Katie and I are two, uh, to Wonder Woman staff, um, but we definitely are not experts in everything, surprising as that may be. Um, <laughs> and so it was just really great, like right off the bat to know that 
even though our whole schedules were going to change with um, the pandemic hitting that I could um, like enter into these courses and really utilize my time to the best of my ability. Um, so I took both the strategic marketing and implicit bias course. Um, and I feel like both those courses uh, were extremely relevant for the times. Um, you know, online marketing and reaching out to students um, when we couldn't go visit them, trying to get volunteers when we can't go see them or, or schedule meetings or visits, um, that became uh, of, of real great importance. Um, and so I felt like that was just a very well-timed course that, um, you know, like Katie mentioned, was a very targeted experience. So. Um, yeah, I could go take like a marketing class, but uh, postgrad service is a very unique little nugget of um, kind of its own field. And so the fact that I could be with colleagues and also get expertise that knew the kind of marketing we were looking to do um, and the type of budget that we had to apply to marketing, right? Like all those things felt really um, customized to uh, our program. And the same with the implicit bias course. Um, it never felt more relevant to engage uh, than it did last year, especially um, looking at it from an orga organizational standpoint um, of how can we address um, bias and particularly white supremacy uh, in our own organization just felt like very important and um, also felt like we could be in community uh, knowing that many of our colleagues were also working um, towards this direction and we didn't have to be just a two person staff per se. Um, so I just felt like, um, yeah, relevance, the targeted expertise, knowing kind of what our field was um, and then just the affordability felt like it was a great uh, asset to us, particularly this year and particularly in my first year with FEM. So I'm very grateful for that experience. Um, and I'm going to hand it over to Katie to share a little more. Hi, everyone. So I'm Katie Sullivan. Um, and I will echo much of what um, you've heard from them and probably have experienced for yourselves as well. Uh, so one variable that is different is that I am in what I think is my 22nd year on staff with the Franciscan Volunteer Ministry. So it's been a little while. Uh, but it's also been a time through all of that that I've been a part of and connected with the Catholic Volunteer Network. And so um, I'm excited to continue to be a part of this incredible community and learning uh, and sharing with each of you. And I feel like this pandemic time um, has has opened my eyes, heart, and mind to what can happen virtually. Because um, I think I was definitely slow to the party on that. Because um, I just love being with you all in person. And I prefer that. Um, like, I, I don't even like talking on the phone if I don't have to. But sometimes you have to. And, and technology actually lets us see each other now. And so I'm really grateful for that. And I'm really grateful and inspired by the Catholic Volunteer Network diving into that with both feet to make it an even bigger part of um, the support uh, for this incredible community. So like Emma, I participated in the implicit bias course. And then I also did the fostering wellness and community mental health in the service year, um, service experience um, course as well. And um, again, of course, implicit bias, I think was especially on our hearts and minds um, this summer, um, but it's a part of people's daily life too. And it goes on like before that time and then since since George Foreman was killed. Um, but, and the same with mental health, like that has existed forever and continues to exist, but is heightened in times of crisis. And of course a pandemic nicely fits in time of crisis mode. So I appreciate both of those courses and the communities um, that I was a part of in those, that we were able to, to come together and share from our hearts, honestly, safely, and courageously. And I appreciated also that at the end of those courses, in addition to the incredible input from our facilitators and that small group sharing, that we actually had action plans moving forward. Um, because I'm definitely one who will respond to whatever the need is of the moment. And so having a structure that helps me um, plan like long-term is really crucial and helpful and very much appreciated. And so those courses and that, um, little cohort 
allowed for that time of creating those action plans that can be used as that um, structure and backbone moving forward. So I thank you all for making this happen and for participating and CVN, thanks for all the good works that you do. Um, and also as a side note, a shout out for our evening reflection last night, which is really beautiful and also um, much, uh, gave my heart much joy. So thank you for that too. Peace. I'm gonna mute myself. Thank you both so much. Um, it's such a beautiful reminder that even in our community, we're bringing such a diversity of experiences and it's helpful feedback to know that someone who's first year on the job and someone who's in their 22nd year um, can take something from these courses and, and we'll be carrying that with us too. And um, We'll hear more later on about the upcoming courses, but always welcome your feedback. And if there's a topic that you know, like you'd love to see us explore in the future, please feel free to reach out.